Welcome, I'm Christa Friedel, team leader of Austria at the Fabriano in Aquarello Festival. Austria is located in Europe, in the heart of Europe, and is a small country, and the capital of Austria is Vienna. Behind me, you see downtown Vienna, and the center of downtown Vienna is St. Stephen's Cathedral, this huge church tower. I'm here standing in the beautiful garden of Castle Belvedere. Uh, Castle Belvedere is now a museum where Gustav Klimt's painting are hanging and also the well-known painting of the Kiss. So let's go on to introduce you to the Austrian artists at the Fabriano Festival. Here behind me, through the window, you can see the Castle Belvedere nowadays, a beautiful museum whereupon other artist Gustav Klimt is exhibited as mentioned before. I start the introduction with our representative artist Erwin Kastner. Erwin Kastner is one of the top international acclaimed Austrian watercolor artists exhibiting all over the world with a unique handwriting. Influenced by numerous occasions, Erwin deals with seemingly unimportant everyday situations and creates classic city views from a different perspective and uniqueness. Originally irreversible, his watercolor show a lightness, dynamic and experienced in their special message. Here we see Gloriette of Castle Schönbrunn in Vienna and this watercolor explains so perfect his unique style, the dialogue with color, shapes and diversity. Our under 30 artist is Julian Joel Messar. He loves to tell stories in his watercolors, as we can see in this watercolor named The Call of Mountains. In his work you find themes based on myths, legends and fairy tales and the viewer may create his own story out of his memory. Our new artist this year is Helga Machert. In her works Helga focuses on landscapes, cities and portraits. She likes to go out and paint plein air, shown in this watercolor of a specific region in Austria, Die Waldviertel. Her work develops during her painting process, playing with colors in a bold way. She tries to break away from representational art and focuses on her own dynamic intuition and freedom. And the finished picture is an interplay of all these components, sometimes coincidental, but mostly intentional. Our next artist is Inna Tumakin. She represents herself with this video. Hello and welcome in my art house in Austria. I'm Inna Pavlička Tumakin. I'm a professional artist and I'm also a professional watercolor artist. And I'm happy to here to invite you here. And I'm also happy to be part of this beautiful community, this Fabriana watercolor artist community. And I hope we can see us next year. And maybe in meantime, you can also visit me in Austria in 900 square meter art. You're welcome, you're inner. Also, Michal Helienik is representing himself with his video. Hello to everybody from Michal Helienik. Let me introduce myself and my work. As a seagoing master mariner, I took my watercolors with me all over the world where I found the inspiration in various countries, subjects and interesting people. Anna Bocepac is also presenting herself with the video here. Hello, I'm Anna Bocepac and I am a watercolor artist drawn to this uh, medium uh, by its fluidity and lightness. As uh, an instinctive painter, I aim uh, to create an uh, impressionistic effect directly and immediately, achieving uh, the fi uh, final look in one session, in one go. I try to create a sense of light and energy in my work. Enjoying to paint in the studio and plein air, I create landscapes, cityscapes and also interiors as seen in my watercolor here at the Fabriano Festival. Thank you for your attention. Our next artist is Herbert Meislitzer. 
His preferred way of painting watercolors is outside in plein air. That's his studio. He finds it wonderful and emotional to sit in front of the motif and to implement it in such a way that no copy is possible, even not for himself. For him, watercolor means spontaneity, let the pigments and the water give the freedom. It is exciting to change what you see in such a way that the coherent yet exciting watercolor emerges from it. Our next artist is Franz Georg Gruber and he is also presenting by himself with this video here. Hello. It's a pleasure for me to meet you. Let me introduce you. My name is Franz Georg Gruber. I come from Münster, a place near the Olympic city of Innsbruck. My nationality is Austrian. I'm self taught in all painting techniques. I particularly prefer watercolor and there again outdoors. Have a good time, stay safe and hope to see you again soon in Fabriano. Bye bye. Our next artist is Ewald Hinteregger. Here we see Ewald's watercolor of Hinterbrühl, a small town south of Vienna. Condensed worlds that cannot be seen at the first glance characterizes the pictorial landscapes of Ewald. The superimposition of the individual layers of images and colors create an order of things with a focus on elements that are sometimes overlooked. The viewer is required to deal with this work and the statement in a detail. Our next artist is Christoph Hölzen. He lives in the beautiful Tyrol. He loves to go out and paint plein air. He has just to go out and paint our wonderful Alps. His motto, the appeal of watercolor, lies in the spontaneity of the media. The fewer strokes to be needed, the more power lies in the result. The key is just to have a clear target in mind and work so hard to come closer and closer to it. Elisabeth Thalmeyer In her watercolors she is striving for reduction. Her paintings are not meant to be detailed images of the motif. Rather, she wants to capture essential forms and colors and put them on paper in such a way that there is still enough room for the viewer's imagination. The exhibited watercolor of Elizabeth with the name Masquerade gives a view of ancient masks shown at the Carneval di Venezia. Our next artist is Gerhard Plaschke. The main focus of Gerhard's work is on a subtle, intensely colored watercolor technique combining the use of charcoal, pencil and ink and sometimes also chalks. We can see this intense use of color here in his in Fabriano presented watercolor Times Square. Our next artist is Peter Falkensteiner. He likes to paint plein air in a spontaneous and loose way, just focusing what is important to say about this place. The change of seasons and the most diverse landscapes form a strong motivation of his work. Here we see the Urania of Vienna at the Danube Canal, painting on location on a sunny day. Our next artist is Eva Strobel. Eva Strobel has been painting since her childhood on, but it was not until 2004 that she discovered her preference for watercolors. She feels that this technique allows a very spontaneous and unconstrained use of colors. Her focus is in painting landscapes and people. In her painting here, Global Warming, shown at the Fabriano Festival, she relates to the current climate crisis, which results in an increased frequency of dangerous forest fires. Such elements, forces of nature are terrible, though they are beautiful to look at. With this painting, the artist wants to draw general attention to the urgent problem in the world. 
Our next artist is Anton Deuritzbacher. He is living in the Wachau, close to the Danube, a World Heritage region. When going out for plain air watercolor painting, the surrounding scenery offers him an inexhaustible variety of motifs. Historic buildings, small villages, city views, cellar lanes and landscapes. He often tries not to paint realistic, instead wants to implement spontaneously given realities and abstraction. Our next artist is Beatrix Kutschera. Her artistic work mainly relates to the subjective interpretation of what is felt in the landscape that surrounds her and often results in abstraction, what we can see in her watercolor here at the Fabriano Festival. Eric von Ostermann, our next artist, is, pre is presenting her by herself. Hello, my name is Jelenborg Ostermann. I am an Austrian-based watercolor artist, but originally I come from Iceland and therefore I am very passionate on painting uh, Icelandic landscape. I have uh, hiked the highlands twice and gathered photo material, which I later work on in my studio. I look forward to see presentations from other artists around the world and thank you very much for this opportunity at the Fabriano Festival to present myself. Our next artist is Hannelore Nenning. Hannelore Nenning from East Tyrol is committed as an artist to ensure that the Esel, the last free-flowing glacier river in the Eastern Alps, along with its tributaries, is placed under nature protection as a Natura 2000 area. Her art is dedicated to the river and forest landscape, the waterwoods, the flood plain forests in Austria, and to preserve this nature for the generations. Here we see the watercolor Winter at the Easel. Our next artist, Irene Müller. Irene Müller lives in the beautiful Tyrol. Landscapes, peoples and animals are Irene's most favorite motifs. The art of watercolor painting is often called the perfect medium of painting. So it is no surprise that this technique has made Irene doubt her talent like so many other painters before. But the wonderful transparency of watercolor that works so well with the white of the paper and the vivid highlights you can achieve with no other medium have triggered her since her beginnings. Our next artist is Manfred Pöschel. As an architect, he is interested in geometric shapes and forms of urban motifs. In his watercolors, there is a lot of reduction of the subjects. He shows just enough that the viewer recognizes the motif and interprets the rest by the scene by himself. He likes a very extreme composition with a counterplate on the other side of the space, as we also can see at the Fabriano event. Marion Paz presents herself with the video. Hello, my name is Marion Paz and I'm from Austria. I paint for some years now using different techniques, but watercolor was my first love and I still love the unique behavior of it. I want to exhibit and induce emotions and feelings with my paintings. And in recent time, I'm focused on portraits of plants, animals and people. And I'm happy to be here at the Fabriano Festival. Thank you and bye. Our next artist is Rudel Lesser. In addition to working in the classical genres, the focus of Rudel works is in the topography of the landscape and its reinterpretation. Sometimes these metamorphoses also find the highlight in an abstract composition. Nevertheless, when he is realizing his subjects, he usually cannot and do not want to evade the required painterly style with the intention of an orderly, concentrated objectivity of the form of expression. Next artist is Monika Strobel. Monika Strobel is a retired pediatrician living in Vienna. Her favorite subjects are the people and places she met during her numerous vacations. Her intention is to capture an atmosphere of a situation or an interpersonal relationship between people, such as meetings like these two strange fellows here on the backpack tour through Belize shown here. Painting also helps her to cope with her Parkinson's disease. 
Our next artist is Ilse Küchner, most important of Ilse's watercolor work, which has very often a symbolic and etheric character, is her creating process, which can be summarized with the following words. Resting in oneself, turning outward, joy in color, shapes and design. Here we see her work, many tears, one pain. And here the poem to her work, in goodness united, tears are drying off in the light of eternity. And last but not least, a few words about myself and my work. Painting to me is all about feeling, emotion and capturing special moments of places or people, always searching for light. During my painting process, I am constantly trying to keep a fresh feeling with smooth movement of pigment in direction of my work. I try to continue to paint daily, read art books during this pandemic to get inspired by new ideas and paint plein air whenever it is possible. When painting outside, I am always asking myself what caught my eyes to this scene, what may be the story behind and how can I transfer this to the viewer. Inspiration for my work I find everywhere, like Camille Pissarro's quote, Blessed are they who see beautiful things in humble places where other people see nothing. Thank you so much for taking time and listen to my introduction of the Austrian artists at the Fabriano and Aquarello Festival 2021.